I'm not supposed to be begging you. I'm not supposed to be pleading with you. But I am telling you that for the sake of Allah, I'm pleading with you to say, read the word of Allah before you leave your house every day. Even if it means reading one line, one line, just one line. We have not asked for much. All we are doing is developing a link with Allah. A lot of us have no link with Allah. Some of us don't even read Jumu'ah. Some of us, we only on the day of Eid, the only thing we know is to say Islamat, 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 Hari Raya and whatever else it is. Subhanallah. That's the only connection between us and Islam. Sometimes. But every day when you develop a link with Allah, let me tell you what will happen. Allah knows that this is my worshipper. He or she started her day with me. I will be with them for the rest of the day. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Now, even if you have a massive car crash through the day and you happen to die, guess where you're going to go? Your day started with Allah. You said Astaghfirullah. You exited the house. Tawakkaltu ala Allah. And after, after that, you passed away. People will also remember you that this person read the Quran before they left. They will be inspired by your deed and you will get a full reward for them following your example. Wow. Where did you go? You went to Jannah. Whereas before we leave, we are fighting. As we leave the home, we are swearing. As we go out, we are engaging in adulterous connections with, you know, the opposite sex that are unacceptable and so on. And as we go, we want to go into the nightclubs or perhaps gambling. But the point that's being raised is lead by example. Leave your home in the morning after having read a verse or two of the Quran in your living area, in your dining room or in your lounge. A place where your children can see you, not privately in your bedroom where they don't know what went on. Let your children see you. It's not showing off. It is teaching them to, to, to live by example.